given the fact that you don't expect a shrinkage, you do expect uh, companies to continue to maintain their leverage profiles, when will higher rates bite? Because they'll have to refinance at some point. Yeah, uh, hopefully soon. We've been thinking it's going to you know, weigh on these corporations for a while now. And, and so far, it hasn't at least impacted the way the markets are perceiving the risk there. We've seen spreads all across the, the rating spectrum come down. We saw a little bit of an uptick last week. We're expecting it to be more pronounced in, in the junk market, but especially the loan market. This is something we've been concerned with. So if you're asking, <clears throat> when will they hit the bottom lines here? It's hitting the bottom lines of loan issuers right now. If you issued loans over the past couple of years, you've seen your interest expense double. Which is the reason why loans have underperformed. And you've seen that in a pretty pronounced way. High yield bonds, though, have continued to rally. And this is a conundrum. If you look around, uh, like what we heard of earlier this show, you th see things as being pretty good. You see employment as being pretty full. How do you sell off in advance of a crisis or some sort of tightening in credit conditions that will inevitably happen at some point when these companies do roll over their debt? Yeah, that, that's what we're concerned with. If we look at the outlook, we've seen defaults start to pick up. If you look at Moody's and S&P data, defaults are closer to 3% or so, more than double what they were a year ago. Expectations are for them to rise. I'll go back to my point before about the length of time that rates are so high, where those corporations who might be sitting on the sidelines right now, not looking to refinance or issue debt, they're not going to get really be given that opportunity anytime soon. Now, high yield bonds have performed really well this year. And even though we continue <clears> to talk about how cautious we are, spreads remain close to 4%, 4.5% area. We still see plenty of indicators out there that suggest they should move higher. What we're telling our clients, we're not saying you need to get out totally. We are saying we're cautious. We expect spreads to rise. But if you hold for a long mm -hmm. period of time, you can kind of ride out those price declines. And you can see spreads rise 200 basis points or so and still break even or even make money over a 12 month time frame. We always talk about 12 months with our clients because that's you want to really earn those annual income payments.